Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. I'll just allow you to speak. Give me a second. Hi, Renee. Welcome. Yeah, you can unmute. Hi, How are you? Hi, Lisa. Hi. So we are meeting one to one tomorrow, right? Seven thirty. That's our time, isn't it, Lisa? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah. 30. My time. Um, you know, I I gotta check because I have to go to um class. I have to leave here by eight thirty. No, I cannot do that because 7.30, 8.30, that's like 9 o'clock my time. I can't do that because I'll be traveling. Okay, so let me know like, if it, you have any time earlier than that, we can meet. Yes, or yes. Maybe later, I, can, close to I, I can do earlier, um, be 7.30 your time. Can I do 6.30 your time? Yeah, we can, we can. Okay, so, yeah, so that would so be eight my time, Ranjani. So I'll just quickly move the meeting to. Um, okay. Six thirty, right? Okay. Six thirty. Yeah, that will be eight my time. Uh, unless you can go earlier than that, like a half hour earlier. Can yes, yes, we can. We can by, do it by six. Okay. Six will be 7.30 by time, and that'll give us a full hour. Yes. I have my LinkedIn class tomorrow, and I just got done talking to the woman who is presenting it. And she said you can get most of the um, LinkedIn or the Sales Navigator benefits for free. You just have to know how to go around using them. So I'm like, okay, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, because the automation, uh, what I am learning is something you know around Sales Navigator. So once I have to you know apply myself and you know use it, and then maybe I'll you know help you do that. So this is what I've heard so far, but I've seen other tools also. The one that a reach that you, you know, shared with me, uh, there could be an alternative to that as well. So they may give I, us some options. Yep. I know that there are alternatives to hey reach as well. Um, I guess I just want to look at all my options and if I can stay within LinkedIn and figure out how to do automation through sales navigator for free that's what yes. i really want yeah so basically what i'm trying to get is the sales navigator you no know, like you all get it for free you no know? that's what i'm trying to do also from my end okay okay i i will assist you if that's okay <laughs> so uh, good that we are all you know driving in the same direction you are also looking for automation so uh, my mentor is taking uh, you know very slowly step by step so but i uh, know i'm sure in a week's time it he will introduce the automation also okay okay great so welcome saraswati welcome sana so this is a general audit meeting being the last wednesday of the month and uh, we have been doing this for almost a year now more than a year that we discuss on you know, we look back what we did in the last month, or what we learned or what we applied, what worked, what didn't work, and we are making new promises for the next month. So we will hear from everybody. And this is a place where you can hear other coaches as well, share their uh, you know, breakthroughs or breakdowns or whatever it is, and make new promises for the next month. Okay. So before I get, uh, no, uh, no, move this meeting around and uh, I have a few uh, you know, uh, updates from my end considering the next month. So as I was discussing with Lisa about the automation, so LinkedIn automation is something that is going to come soon to all of you as a regular training module where I will be helping you generate your qualified leads, like people who are your potential buyers 
not just shopping they are potential buyers they you can connect and them. so that is what on automation so that is what we are trying to accomplish through linkedin automation and this is something that i am it is in progress and soon i will be you know sharing and the schedule whatever i learned i'll be teaching in the one to ones as well second thing is i'm going to do a retreat design program starting this week on friday and it's going to be a three week module where you'll have three classes every friday from this friday onwards and in these three weeks you can start thinking of how your retreat or any offline program that you want to do it's an in person program you can design for your niche your audience and you can work with me and learn what you can sell what you can include as content what will be the pricing how you can market it and all of that in the three weeks we are going to cover so if you are like in future want to do this for your your coaching business or your training academy i invite you to join this because this is the first batch and i have few people who are ready to launch their retreats so i thought let me do it in a group model so that you know we can learn from others also so each coach is a different niche different audience and uh, there are there are chances of collaborations and contribution as well mutually so uh, you will get the invite you no know, messages in the group as well as in your personal window and if you, you know are in it's absolutely free for all the members of the group okay so there are no extra charges if there is anybody new let's say you want to partner it with someone you have a business partner coming then maybe you know uh, i will consider having a fee but if if it is your business partner from the beginning then this is absolutely free for you if you're bringing on your friends and they want to do their own retreats then i would consider this fee is very small 6000 and uh, in dollars it is 199 you know barely 200 dollars to learn a retreat program okay so this is the update from my end uh, welcome sumati so i just want to move around like i want you to guys to share um what you learned what you want what you accomplished what are you looking forward to in july i want to try as we are you know moving this game of uh, you know, building a coaching business profitable so who wants to start who wants to share Sumati, okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, Rini is also there. Okay. So Rini, so Rini, Rini, you want to go? Rini, put the okay. hand, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rini, you can also share. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So, this month, uh, close to clients for 30,000, working with other clients. Wonderful. Uh, uh, approaching the schools for teachers' training. Started from day before yesterday mm -hmm. and planning a retreat in Bhuneshwar in November with Ranjani. Yes. So after attending two retreats, now become an expert. <laughs> very good, very good. So that's that's uh, that's what I'm you know, looking forward. Like as you travel with me, you become the experts in your domain, right? And create so, your own events. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I had promised of bringing the book because of my ill health. The book will another fifteen days it will take, another twenty days time it will take. The books mm -hmm. uh, book on uh, special need children. The letters from special need children that will be coming soon. So that is next month. Next month focuses uh, to reach out the schools and conduct teacher training and children uh, training teenagers. That is the main target. Mm -hmm. And that is that I'm trying more on offline rather than online. Okay. Online, I'm focusing on one-to-one -one more on high ticket clients rather than uh, like mm -hmm. a group coaching. And okay. yes, next month, 15th, I'm launching my 10 days program. 18th, I'm launching my 10 days program also which is for uh, like, which is based on Ayurveda, naturopathy, meditation, mindfulness. Wow. And who's the audience here in the 10 days program? All, 
all coaches, parents, professionals, every professionals. Working professionals. You're working talking. professionals. Okay, good. So would you like to share about your retreat? What are you have quickly, what you have uh, thought you are going to deliver and uh, what is the, you know, the yeah. opportunity for the members? <laughs> so the retreat consists of the three, it's a four days program, three nights, four days, and it's completely experiential and you will be getting a chance to visit Konark temple as well as Puri, Jagannath Puri temple. Uh, that will be an add-on to it. And if time permits, we are planning to take you to a village where it is known for its art and craft. And uh, here you will be learning, uh, connecting with your business partners or your life partners. So those who are single, they should, they can't say that we are not coming. They can bring their business partners. Mm -hmm. Those who are married, they can bring their life partner or their business partner. That's up to them. So yes, and it will be in November, uh, from November 21st to 24th. And uh, yeah, uh, you will be staying somewhere near Puri and enjoying the bliss of Puri, Kunar, and uh, like, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, all right. So she has chosen an amazing uh, location. It's a beach resort for the stay. And uh, soon she will share the details of the location as well. And those who want to have a you no know, four days get you no know, weekend gateway for. Uh, maybe dedicating that to your partner, health, your well-being, your relationship. I think this is a perfect place to be. Okay. Any questions, anyone for Rini or anything you want to share with her? You can you know, share. Any questions, any feedback you want to give? All the best, Rini. <laughs> That's only <laughs> Simati. From you, it's not expected. What? <laughs> Only all the best. You should ask questions, no? I you have a question. oh, I'll be asking always, but I think uh, uh, since I want be, you know, to, I love to come there. No, it is there, but since I'm not joining, I didn't ask any questions. But joining, I'll ask a lot of questions. <laughs> Hi all. I Hi. have a question Hi. for Nima. Yes, sir. Yes. What kind of so um, you are conducting this art and craft program, right, in the village? No, it's not a program. It's actually I will be visiting a village where the Odessa art and craft you can see. Uh, like you can see and can buy, you can know the people, how they do it and all. Okay, so is it is learning involved or is it just experiential that you see? It's experiential. It will be you will be watching because learning it will take a lot of time. It's only there. <laughs> okay, okay. Because my mother is an artist, so she was looking at going to an art village and practicing her craft. I mean, art. So um, just wanted to check if, if it can relates to the same activity. No, this is since business coaches will be there. So many won't be interested in going and learning this. So mm -hmm. it will be a, just uh, a visit to that village. Okay. Thanks. So Sana, if at all you're planning to come with your mom, at least she can explore that art and craft yeah. what yeah. is available in the world in that village. and. Later, she, you can, she can consider maybe, you know, how to learn and all of that can be a later part. She can decide at yes, her yes. personal level. She can always explore what is there, there in that village. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So anyone else wants to share anything or ask anything to Rini? Welcome, Simi. No. Okay. Okay. Congratulations on your two new clients and you're taking on retreats. So just congrats to all of your progress. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy. Like we have traveled almost a year together and I love you know, the way things are moving in your coaching business. So really proud of what you're doing. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And who else who wants to go next? 
sharing your learnings, sharing your breakthroughs. Yes, Sumati. Yeah. So uh, we are going to share this month, right? Yeah. What you what you learned, what you accomplished, or what didn't happen, you can okay. share all of that. So, and what is the plan for the next? So the thing is, uh, I think uh, I had rolled on this high ticket uh, coaching for the last uh, one month back and it is uh, started off with the first module. So I was uh, skeptical. I won't be skeptical. I was like excited. I just don't know how to go about, but somehow I started off. So in that way, I finished one module, Habit Mastery, where I help my three clients, high ticket clients to master, you know, to uh, incorporate uh, new habits uh, to the daily life. That, so that is something which I feel really... I feel very really satisfied about it. I'm able to do it. Today I started off, this week I'm started off self-love. So self-love is again a workbook. So I give them a workbook where they have to, you know, sit and work to be, to with me. So it's for a, more of a do, do with me. It's a kind of, so I'm exploring this uh, to take into a group coaching. As uh, Ranjini was helping me out to tell me like, uh, maybe, uh, you know, I can do this one-to-one -one or, or group. But now I realize that I can do this as a group coaching also. So I'm learning that actually. This was the learning for me. And everything is test and trial, right? We are just, uh, we are doing it. So that is one thing I learned. And I was feeling very happy that I could uh, uh, offer the next batch. After 10 days, I'm launching 10 days WhatsApp class, which she taught us, you know. And uh, so in that way, I'm ready to, and now it's 16 people have joined. And uh, so like... Uh, uh, I'm so happy. I did a mistake, but somehow we have to do it again. <laughs> I always yes. believe that uh, there's always, you know, a way to do anything. I always believe that. So somehow we managed and there are 16 people. And uh, and today I shared a testimony, which was very powerful, uh, where mm -hmm. one of my high ticket client was, uh, you know, her uh, dream goal. I helped her to achieve a dream goal. Um, so in that way, things are happening. That is one side. And uh, in future, I would be, uh, as I told, uh, I'll be uh, again, you know, regularly, I want to make it regular. That is one thing I'm looking for. I want to find a pattern. I remember starting five days manifestation workshop. Every morning, they come for half an hour and huddle together. And I give them the morning manifestation ritual. That was what I started. Then now I'm starting 10 days. So I'm just being open to see what works. So that, that will yes. be my L1 and then I'll go for the high ticket. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm, I'm just being open. This is one thing. So in future, maybe next month, what I'm expecting is uh, uh, I would get more clients. Uh, but I've changed my mindset now. I want to stick with these three people who are high client where I go for one to one only. Because I don't want to change my wordings. Uh, because the, uh, But in future, I'm going to join more people in one batch, five people where uh, I'm going to help one person has already joined to me. Uh, orally, she has told, uh, you know, because I work with clients uh, in online, uh, you know, NRI people everywhere. I, so I will even tell them, you come into my coaching, why you want to go for therapy? <laughs> so in that way, I'm able to convert my clients, my counseling clients mm -hmm. to uh, coaching. So that is one benefit for me, actually. So uh, here after, that is what design. In future, I'll be joining five clients per month. So that I will have a group coaching. Uh, at least my aim is to bring at least 50. You know, per week, I want to have that. Then maybe I, want, I will go for one lakh, you know, whatever that. Uh, so once I get comfortable with this, I will go step by step. Very good. Very good. That's the way forward. Because often when we start with a new program and it's like first time doing, you feel though we have done a good job in designing an amazing program when it comes to delivery it's a different ride and no this work this doesn't work so you know it took me almost you know 30 40 people to work with to really come up with a proper process like i can say that this has to be the 10 steps you know yeah so because you work with different kinds of people and no they have different temperaments and uh, then you can arrive at a common model that can you know, generally work for people and more confident of making things work faster also so that's a good thing moving to high ticket group model so that's why you are you started with high ticket one to one now you're going to go high ticket group model and the way i'm doing like a group model we are coaching we are getting you know uh, uh, we are helping each other you will have a you know a mix of this like a one-to-one -one plus a group model 
like that. So we will work on it as you as you start with working with more people, you will get a clarity like how I can manage all of it. Okay, and I think one breakthrough I can see for you is now you can bring your uh, therapy, the consulting that you were missing, that I think you closed consciously this month. Yeah, right? yes. Yes, that I have. Uh, that I want to. Uh, that I didn't tell at all. I didn't tell. This is something very, very. Uh, it's a life turning. I would say because I've been into twenty years into my counseling. Uh, I used to have my clinic in my home itself uh, upstairs, and uh, today I have very strongly. I have you know I get clients. I just do a referral or I push them to you know I say some some other reason or I do referral. I give a referral or I uh, I have only weekly one. Still sticking to it. Weekly ones I'm doing. Because those people, they want me only. That's a reason. Uh, maybe slowly that also will stop. I think so. I don't know. And then uh, I'll be yeah. a full-time coach. Right. But this so is I something a major decision. Like you have, yeah, it's a major decision. 20 years of your clinical work, like you really brought to a halt. Almost. Yeah, I really realized that, you know, keeping both uh, legs, you know, they say, no, it doesn't work. Correct. So I now see that you can convert your uh, consulting clients to coaching. So you're not serving them as well. You can bring them, like you can do a little bit of therapy and bring them here, however it works, but I don't know uh, deeper how you do it. But you can still find ways where your, your people can be connected with you. They really want to be with you. you know, 20 years you have served them. So that is one way you can transition from consulting to coaching. Great. Awesome progress, uh, Sumati. And anything else you want to share? Or you want yeah, to ask I want anything? To, when Rini said she's organizing it, I'm so excited. I really wish I would uh, organize this year, but I don't know how to go about And one more is ebooks uh, pending. I, I have finished that. Uh, another one, I think we did that uh, platform where I finished the PDF, I attached the PDF into the website. I have done it today. And uh, given the uh, free course, so now the thing is set to run. I have to go for FB ad and right. organic. That is what, uh, that is one thing I think a big accomplishment. You know, I work with you. So yes. that side so also I will go. get leads. Correct. So we are going to establish mostly, I'm offering two models. One is an ebook funnel where ah. we will set up Facebook ads. One way of getting clients. Another one is organic marketing. Uh, that is LinkedIn automation and all of that as I'm teaching you guys. So you guys all can learn. So there will be two channels. You will be getting people into your system. Ads and organic. And you have your courses to offer. So you can build your community. And yeah, as you right. grow your community. Like let's say uh, Sumati. You have 20-25 people in your group. As a women who have worked with you. You can you know, start thinking of a retreat as well. Okay. So when you have the bandwidth. You can you know start planning it it takes four months time to actually execute a retreat so if you want to have a like next year i want to do you can start thinking this year itself like how you want to do it okay okay i'm i'm doing a retreat design program from this friday three weeks oh. you can catch up or you can watch the recording and see what it takes to design and sell retreats so you can learn that offline model of you know creating and selling a program yeah. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Very good. Who else wants to share next? Simi? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. So, not complete success, but I can uh, say that uh, my ebook was pending when all ebook is uh, done and all. I always compare myself to everyone. And uh, with Ranjini, I have learned that one thing that no, yeah, it is not, not done. It is not done. So my journey is totally different from all the rest. Uh, I have taken a slow pace, but uh, now I'm happy. Yesterday I'm done with this pleasureism, dupli checker, grammarly. Everything is done. So I'm in the verge. Uh, um, almost done. I will be doing the cover, ebook, and all that. That is not yet done so far. So that is something which I'm really happy. You know. Everyone, I see that uh, this is a pattern in me that all of them, they come to the session uh, and I can see everyone taking step and moving forward and launching their program. I will be active in the mid and as the daughter is sleep, I sleep. 
so I don't get up at all. And I'm still sleeping. So I have told her like, you know, I'll be watching the program again. Now uh, from the, uh, I had not even attended the orientation. I believe I saw it today. Mm -hmm. So I've told her like a child, you know, I will uh, watch one program a day and I will update that it is done and I will update even the homework. So yeah, all the, this thing, right? Different uh, students. So I am one among somewhere there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so that's that's very nice. Uh, Simi, you could make your own observation that there is a pattern, like considering we are also completing almost a year together. But I have never right. judged you, like wherever you are. <laughs> but uh, no, finally you found out, like, yes, I have a pattern. But it's always good to catch yourself and no, keep going. And I personally yeah. feel like each one of you are different. You have a different journey. I can't, you know, it will be an injustice if I compare you with anyone. Even for me, I don't do that. So if that's how I, you know, can nurture. For me, it's very important to maintain your individuality. There are strengths. Maybe that is one thing which I love in you, Ranjini. Like whenever I have a one-to-one -one call with you, sometimes I just want to skip Ranjini. I don't even want to be a one-on-one -one call because <laughs> I've not done any task. So I keep, the, you know, want to skip, but then she'll say, okay, we will just talk. Are kya? What will I talk? And I feel, I just want to avoid Ranjini. <laughs> but she will not leave. And I think she's like uh, that parent, uh, like, you know, you see, even if the parent is hitting you, you don't feel bad. But when the parent doesn't speak, then you will feel bad. So when I say, Ranjini, I've not done anything today. Ranjini, I've not done anything this week. Ranjini, I've not done. She will not say anything. But when she is silent, I feel very bad. Then I will do. <laughs> this time, I'm telling first time today itself. <laughs> that is the secret. <laughs> yes, yes. So <laughs> good, good. Good that you no, know, I could you no know, see the other side also. Sometimes I get lost with the follow-up messages, you know. Us. So then when their calendar hits, like I need to speak to Simi, I then get behind you. So thank you so yeah. much for sharing all of this and uh, loving Rans. your progress. And uh, I love all the nakras. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Who anything else you want to share or ask anything? Uh, any, to anyone, Simi, done? Yeah, I'm done. Uh, you are my first business coach, uh, Ranjini, and I'm, I've really fallen in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too, me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And... Uh, Pavi is speaking, but I'm not. It is me too. too. It is me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. It is <laughs> So who wants to are, go next? I think yeah, we okay. have run a campaign. Me too. Me too campaign. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yes. Bhamini, you want to share? Or Lisa, who wants to share? Yeah. Myself, uh, <clears throat> what I did was that I could uh, that plan our 10-day program. Uh, that is increasing self-confidence. I have almost done with that and one more thing i could do is my high ticket program i have uh, i got clarity regarding that and i have added programs and it is 50 percentage done uh, that good, is one thing. and one more thing is uh, how what when i don't know but i am planning a retreat <laughs> 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 Simi, there's that. no change in you. To my thinking, yeah. no, no change. <laughs> See, Cindy. Yeah, because uh, everything will uh, start from the thoughts, no? Yes. So that is deep rooted now. Then one more thing I could do is uh, uh, that created that video sales letter etc etc mm. it was yes. uh, quite interesting that converting our text into video and uh, doing all that just followed Renjini and created that I think just because of that technical issue I couldn't launch it that I am finding it difficult with graphic that it is it's my LMS issue uh, so that that has to be sorted out and yes yes uh, 
we have yeah. sorted it, Lisa, uh, Bhamini. Uh, we all of us, all of you graphic users, will launch your ebook funnel. So you have done the book; it will be done. I've got the breakthrough over there on graphic. So okay. I'm working with okay. Nikhil, who is the first person to launch. So maybe this week, if it is done, soon next week, yours will be also done. Okay. 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 That uh, my mine. Uh, the issue is uh, that uh, graphic link. That is sorted. I will, you know, okay. know. That is the one. one. And one, one more thing is, I could, this month I could visit uh, Kali Khat. That is in Calcutta. Wow. What, what is uh, so special means I have been longing for that since 70s. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> we, we, yeah. We had a lesson on that. Oh. So I had just heard that name. I don't know where it is. And I, I heard that Kolkata and Kali Khat like that. Mm -hmm. So now only I could visit that place. Wow. <laughs> We're really, really bold women. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you know, she, she keeps, keep, no, one day she's in Bangalore, one day she's in Delhi, you know, she keeps moving. <laughs> <laughs> Why, so, why traveling training program is it? Yeah, that yeah. with my mother. Oh, <laughs> how old is so, your mom? Bhavani? She's 77. Good, good. And you are planning a trip to Dubai with her, right? So, yes, yes, of course. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in Dubai, Bhavani? Who is in Dubai? So many are there. Oh. <laughs> Anyone, any close relatives? No, yeah, so I don't she, have any. Yeah. So she was, she, when we were doing the vision board, she told me she wants to try, take her mom to you know, Burj Khalifa. So that is one goal. Uh, now I know, you know she's working on. <laughs> okay. Great. What else? What else is going on? You're in Kolkata. Oh. Yeah. These are the major sharings. And what is your plan for July? Anything that you have thought? like? Yeah, I have no? to launch that, my 10-day program. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you are looking at closing few clients. You can declare that also. This is an yes. amazing space where you can share what you want to accomplish and it will come true. <laughs> yeah, this is... Okay. The... <laughs> Yeah, this uh, the 10 day, 10 day program. No, I am planning this as a free program for our retreat participants, those who were in the wow. retreat. So, I, I wow. would like to give the uh, <laughs> I say, give this, yeah. this, uh, this program. And for others, it will be of um, a nominal fee of 3000. I am planning. Good, good. And you can look at having 10 people as a no serious participants and yes, having yes. at least two to three sign up for your main program okay so yes. so whenever you launch a program have these numbers in your head very clear otherwise it looks more of like you no know, we're doing something we're doing something and nothing is happening okay okay right? okay anyway we'll plan accordingly that means we, are, we have our one-on-one yeah. uh, -on -one call tomorrow i think yeah. uh, we can finalize many things Yes, yes, yes. So this is a general thing. Whenever you launch any program, any new thing, product launch, you must have, because being a business coach, this number thing has to be very clear. So it, it comes with practice, like you start you know, making things tangible, whatever you do, so that you can measure your own performance, like how what I promised and what I could deliver. Okay, so nothing to judge. It is for yes, just for us. Like I yes, said, yes. I will do this and let's see. How it goes great so look forward to the call tomorrow okay sure all right anything else that's it okay so lisa would you like to share sure i'll okay. share um you know what my growth and life coaching career really stalled out and then i went to jamaica for a month and then things really stalled out but now that I'm back home here in the US, it's like all of a sudden I am just getting all the support that I need. 
Um, I have people tweaking my coaching where I'm not aligned, where, you know, I'm looking at a new mantra for my business. Um, and, you know, let me know how this land. It says, let me be the catalyst for success, partnering with you through your, um, through your sacred life journey. How is that landing out there? I'm looking for your feedback, your authentic feedback. <laughs> yes, you guys can give her a feedback. Anyways, I'll give her a feedback <laughs> before I have a one. It's it 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 is really you know it is resonating. Like whoever wants a, a mentor to partner as an accountability partner or show you the way where you no know, where they want to go need need support need guidance. So it sounds like that. Oh, okay. Do you want me to say it again? Yes, say one more time so that everybody can hear and give you give an honest feedback she's asking an honest feedback okay. please yes okay. let me be the catalyst for success partnering with you through your sacred life journey yes how does that sound you have any very, feedback given? very catchy i liked it thank you thank you yeah. very much can, can i get that first sacred journey i can hear what is the first line? Let me be the catalyst for success, partnering with you through your sacred life journey. Let me be your catalyst. Okay. This is, a, this is your headline for the... Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa, I have a suggestion. Yes. Listen yes. the way uh, Ranjini keeps, uh, you know, Ranjini Sanjay coaching. In the similar way, you can mention it as uh, Lisa Success Catalyst. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I also have a suggestion. Yes. Yeah. So um, maybe we could tweak those the initial part as let me be your partner to catalyze success, something like that. Oh, okay. To turn it around. Okay, sure. Yeah, right. I'll play with that. Play with words. <laughs> no, no. I I appreciate the honest feedback. So so let me know because I'm in the process of redoing it. So it's very malleable right now. Yes. So as a content writer, I have been told to simplify. So as much as you can simplify that statement, so that anyone, even a child, reads it can understand. So just you can work with with yourself on that. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, you know what? I'm getting all kinds of support from many different areas here in the U.S. And I'm kind of like, where were you people three months ago? <laughs> um, but they're here now. That's the important <laughs> thing. Maybe I needed to go take a break or something. Um, so, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, and then actually for July, I'm looking at signing my first two clients. That's my goal. Like you wow. said, speak it and it will come true. And that's where I'm at. So I will have Wonderful. two clients. That was powerful. That was powerful. The way you said it, no, it showed authority. Like, no, it's, it's that's how, like, no, I loved it. No comments further, but I loved it. Yeah, that's how you should be taking on your goals. Like they should look scared. <laughs> you better show up <laughs> like that in your life. Great. And you are coming up with a master class. What's the idea of the master class? You you plan to do it in July or have a different plan? Yes, I am planning on doing the master class and actually relocating um, um, is my topic. And because I'm working kind of sort of with the people of Ukraine, um, you know, just like relocating to another country or another city, because that's kind of what they're doing right now. Um, some are risking their lives and, and staying there. But then I also about like re relocating in a job or a career. So I just have one master theme is just relocation. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So she's, uh, no, she's rebranding. She is working on a new concept to launch. And no, the theme for July is people who are relocating or maybe you no know, trying and then living in a different country from their origin. So you have challenges when you are 
you know, migrated to a new place. That's, Thank you. That's the concern she's dealing with. So soon we will you know, see her uh, program details. Anything else you want to share, Lisa? You want to ask anything? Um, no, not at this time. <clears throat> so, but thank you for the feedback. It's much appreciated. Yeah. yeah. My, yeah. Well, my, my, uh, can I ask one question? Sure. Yes. Yeah, I would like to know how you are planning to get the customers. Actually, it's through, is that directed for me? To me? Yes. Oh, okay. You know what? Through LinkedIn, and actually, I have quite a I have a good following with social media, mm -hmm. and from an energetic point of view, my branding mm -hmm. and my mindset have been disconnected in a couple different areas. Um, actually, I recently got to the honor to work with a retired life coach. And lovingly, mm. he says, I'm not supposed to meddle in other people's lives, he's, but I'm going to meddle in yours. And I was like, well, in a good way, that's good. And, oh. and he's actually helping with my alignment so that I'm more energetically or spiritually aligned, which, you know, that can bring pull clients from just anywhere. They can just show up when a person's energy is aligned. And that's what I'm looking at really creating oh. right now. Yes, that that's fantastic, Lisa. That because uh, you have uh, really narrowed down the niche, no. Uh, so you're so specific. I love that. Thank you, thank you. That you know, and that's what I want to hear. And I'm hearing that for the first time. It's like you're really focused, <laughs> and they love it. Love is in the air, and that's good. <laughs> so I'm just super excited about doing this all restructuring rebranding and then going forward with that i think i i know that it yeah. will work a lot better be far more attractive to other people yeah so i uh you know i want to share like as lisa is talking about rebranding every six months all of you would like to know you can go back and look at rebranding it like you know because in six months you have evolved as you're working inside that program you may find that i'm doing you know I can make it more specific and I can be you know, more narrower, you know, very you know, closer to who I'm working with. So this rebranding thing can happen like maybe three months. It depends on how much quantum of work you're doing. So definitely six months is a good time to look back and see whether I can, because I think Verna has rebranded herself. She has changed her LinkedIn branding. And I did rebranding almost my first three years. Like, you no know, every... You know, now and then three months, four months, my banners, my wordings, my language will change. And I think for the past one year, it is kind of, you know, so it's like good two to three years, put yourself in a mode where you can be rebranded. Don't think that this is final. There, there are, there is ways to get better. Okay, just a suggestion to keep it in your mind so that as Lisa is doing, you may feel I can have a better branding language or a statement okay and same your programs will also evolve as you narrow and it will get better okay all right so that's one suggestion because this is a process like as you have traveling with me almost a year i can see those changes you're getting better you're getting stronger you're confident with your craft and so your branding can become better exactly. All right. So anything else, Lisa, you want to share? Um, I'm just looking forward to your retreat webinars that you're doing. Right now, I just want to stay focused on clients, clients, clients. But I definitely mm -hmm. want to branch out to retreats. So when I get more comfortable and adding more clients, I can start adding retreats after that. Yes, yes. So it's, it's, it's a longer, like, no? Uh, extended plan of your online coaching where you can go offline as well so good mm -hmm. so i love that so we will like so when when i'm working with you i can give you, you know my insights of how your retreat programs can look like so that we will start working from friday okay exactly 
so wonderful and uh, uh, you know uh, lisa has taken leaps in her growth she is now consistent with her content and you know, now we are planning a launch as well and you know this is a good sign of progress so i really you know i'm enjoying the way you're moving okay. thank you great who else wants to share i think i have sana and tanya who wants to go sana you can go first yes happy to share uh, yeah before you start i want you to introduce yourself and then because many people okay. are seeing you for the first time okay okay yeah hi so i'm sana hussain i'm the founder of uh, first hand from sana it's a fashion magazine and shopping helpline so i've been working with ranjini ma'am since 2023 and this year i made uh, i mean this month especially i made a development with her uh, by launching a 14 day program it's a fashion consultation program um now next step i am seeing as uh, organizing interviews for fashion industry stakeholders across the globe uh, i mean earlier i i was not very um strategic about it but now i'm mapping you know the countries and going about it systematically and i'm so happy that i came to attended this meeting so i got to know about this linkedin sales navigator training module so ranjini ma'am really counting on that to um, integrate that in my business strategy yes great if you have anything to share or ask me i'm i'm open to hearing from you yeah so i know yeah. sana for i think we met on the last year women's day i opposed that you know in those that march group 8. i first <laughs> march 8 huh? march march 8. yeah yes. march last year yeah after that the women's day was there there was a group meeting i went live on fb and many many people came and in that group i found somewhere sana and i think in this in that sequence i remember you were there in the live sumati remember with sana oh women i remember uh, sumati okay okay oh right and uh, we had this common uh, live session and that's where you were the uh, you know, speakers on that day you yeah, both were okay, there okay okay and even <laughs> lakshmi was there mm. okay that's how my you know i first got to know about sana and then she has uh, completed her mba recently right yes ma'am yes yes so, so you think and, uh, what i understand sana you're running a magazine yes a fashion the... magazine and shopping helpline Oh, it's an online magazine or a physical? Uh, it's online. It's online. Oh, so you have a team for yourself? No, I'm a one one woman army. Okay. <laughs> solo prana, solo prana. Solo prana, right? Okay. When when did you start? Started in 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
and uh, she is going to dress me up for the next retreat really <laughs> i've got her she Sana, got i wanted to ask you that so you help people to dress according to their uh, like business and their body shape and right yeah. absolutely but time budget preferences and the trends as well so i mean i uh, appreciate their persona and everything that they bring to the table but i also want to enhance their uh, you know uh, presentation so it's a combination of both things to get the best uh, so know, do you have a website or something sorry do you have a website or a landing page i don't page have a website ma'am i have uh, like two main accounts instagram and facebook so i i mostly uh, like communicate through those and on linkedin i publish my articles so it's like it's varied on social media accounts right now but if okay. i have like something very specific to be done through the website uh, i would plan it in the future but it's in the pipeline <laughs> so do you call yourself as a personal image consultant i i think it's a good synonym for a fashion stylist uh but you know what happens in image consultancy is like more broader than just a fashion oh. stylist role so i don't take up like communication and all that you know a lot of uh, i think aspects are covered <laughs> yeah, in yeah. Consulta con consultation so mm. but yeah it's i think it's anonymous so yours is a more of one to one consultation when suppose i come to you and i want to um, you know enhance my uh, personality like uh, grooming aspect or as you told uh, kind of persona what kind of persona what kind of hairstyling what kind of mm -hmm. dressing i have to choose mm -hmm. so is it like um, counseling where we go for sessions uh, depending upon what goals we have so you also you give one to one just one yes, time consulting yes, or yes. is it a series of consulting so uh, ma'am i launched this 14 day program where i want to like uh, you know analyze your body type time preferences everything and give you like um, you know suitable uh, fashion strategy to follow for a month and if you like it then we could continue on a monthly or a yearly basis so um, but to have a serious analysis and like a, a conversation with you uh, about your your strategy about how you treat fashion what are your fashion preferences how, what you would like to change you know or understand so i we could start with that 14 day program But if you don't have time and you just want to have a chat, like a one-day chat, so I'm completely fe flexible as to how you want to be my client, and we could run through that uh, process of improving your fashion uh, strategy. You know how you uh, perceive fashion, and maybe if we need to make some changes, and it totally depends. Like some person does not have any idea. so i would have to give him a complete 100% knowledge kit <laughs> and some people know many things and i might have to just do a 10 or 20% knowledge transfer so we could start with the one day chat i mean session and see if you need a 14 day program or a one month or yearly so it's completely on yeah so i actually worked with her in the 14 day program i gave her a three month plan because we all designed a three months coaching program so 3 months to completely transform their wardrobe on like cxos founders like where they meet people and you know their presence and their look and feel also matters as as mm -hmm. what they speak so that's yes. what we suggested and she already had this 14 day program she worked already created so she has launched it but you can always talk about this and and i found that i need somebody to you know dress me i gave her retreat event like events when you are going for a big events you can have a special dressing around the event that you are attending so yes. it could can be customized it can be like your lifestyle you can change whatever what works yes. for you but i have doubt here online how do you help the client you know to see the very ectomorph mesomorph endomorph and then choose their colors choose the kind of dress style all that is you know how could you do it in online so um the user would know uh, his like body size so i think yeah. i don't have to go and measure but um i think uh, we have photo sharing option so 
the person could okay. share photos of the the clothes one has in the wardrobe so my idea is always like this that uh, i will check the person's wardrobe and suggest some combinations how to best wear those clothes you know if the person <laughs> needs it. and then if if the person needs more things like there are some gaps right some things are missing in the wardrobe then we would go shop so shopping is not the first solution first is analyzing the existing wardrobe and um, you know so like budget is always uh, like uh, the the first priority you know like working with around the budget okay wonderful sana and i'm and i'm always excited to go okay. shopping with people <laughs> Sana, you got you are in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> super, super happy to be here. Yes. Where are you from, Sana? Where are you from? So next retreat, so next retreat would be a game changer. Yes, everybody will dress up, <laughs> and we will have a showstopper also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can have a ramp walk also. Yeah, we can yeah. have a ramp walk, uh, uh. and Sana will be the in you know. What is the curator for oh, that? Uh, yeah. What's Anna ready? For the ramp walk? <laughs> yeah, for the ramp walk. Yeah. Sure. I love I love ramp walk. I love modeling. I used to, so would be a good exercise. Where are you from, Anna? Ma'am, I'm from Nagpur, Maharashtra. <clears throat> wonderful thank you so much sana we can take this conversation mean, this can go forever we are all ladies <laughs> 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 thank you so much uh, three hours won't be enough but yes you are at the right place and you know help you know because you guys are leaders i see you as phenomenal leaders you know uh have building a legacy brand so i want you guys to now you know dress up in that you know the branding colors and the you know stuff the statements that you are using powerful ones so it aligns with you as uh, lisa was telling you know aligning your energy to what you are up to it it matters often and this is one point i missed when lisa was sharing is often while we are doing our daily thing we often run into our survival modes like i have to do things i have to you know get this done but often we need to come back and align ourselves what why we are doing what we are doing. so great exactly. we have got two learnings one from lisa like how to come back and focus align ourselves and from sana like you know from the look and feel aspect of who you are and really representing your brand properly so thank you so much dear for contributing great so who else is there tanya want want to share Tanya, are you there? We can't hear you. Unmute yourself. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, yes. Tanya, hi, Sana. Yes. Um, what I have accomplished is like uh, last time I had told that in May I did maths marvels a WhatsApp challenge. I'm a maths educator, so in June also I was supposed to do and I did it the uh, maths challenge for higher grades that is from uh, grade eight to ten. So uh, it I got entries like but only the small uh, hurdle was that school had started, so. uh students couldn't like get time like not to come so many had come in but uh, still uh, not a bad response as such but i got students and uh, they got to learn a lot so i had one student who was actually reluctant to take that uh, whatsapp challenge but then um, at the end the motivation from their parents and also from their school teacher who happened to be my own teacher so <laughs> yes so uh, they had a, a talk and then the teacher also inspired the student <clears throat> to take it so at first the child was like what am i going to learn this i don't want to do then the parent shared with me like i asked my child like uh, during the feedback session so after this uh, five days whatsapp challenge so i give feedback to students like how their performance was so the parent was like i she literally the mother was like 
she uh, she was she kept her son, son aside and she came to talk to me and she's like i asked him whether you have to cook for us whether you have to do something some course house course that you're saying no to this because you don't have to do anything just you have to sit in front of the phone and just take part in it and then motivation from his school teacher also uh, so he took part so constantly uh, there were three students who were in and then this child shared his experience that uh, he thought like more of things were like basics so i focused on the basics in maths so but then at the end he learned a lot and uh, the thing is what i observed is in this this uh, challenge what i included is about something about financial literacy for students so that thing was something new to them so it's like they never uh, they were never aware of the savings and these things so there was small word problems but not aware of this so they found it very interesting and yes and uh, probably tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow but probably tomorrow i'll try for my ebook to get launched um yes that's it, like what i've done till now and uh, uh, you had a uh, student and the sibling also joined another subject was added what oh, yes. tell us about that also yes sir. so from the first uh, whatsapp challenge for uh, grade 5 to 7 um i had a uh, sign up that is for a mentoring session and that was only for maths but then after two three sessions uh, the parent also asked me for science for that child for grade 6 and now just uh, yesterday i got another call that is for her own sibling who is in grade 10 and uh, they wanted mentoring completely in biology so i got that and yes and also i've been conducting offline too at home so they have also increased like some got to know about me so i didn't knew those people but they came to know uh, through my uh, especially i got a uh, lot of good comments from the facebook uh, interview that we had done ma'am yes wow. so many of them appreciated they came to know from that and uh, also ranjini did that yes okay yeah we did a facebook live so yes ma'am so offline also i'm getting students here um, wow. yes and then with the online wonderful where are you from i'm from goa ma'am goa okay ma'am simi i uh, i asked about actually i didn't knew your name but then uh, in between i had asked ma'am ranjani um what is the name of that member who is into storytelling because you said you'll be doing it for teachers so i just yeah. remember that in one of the calls so uh i think i will most probably go for that because i would like to learn about it so that i can oh, use yeah, that sure. yes yeah, yeah definitely definitely <laughs> yeah yes, so sir. now should we get ready definitely to launch the program <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay. yeah i am yes yes we need yes. to launch the program you have a client waiting already <laughs> <laughs> yes tanya yes, thank you so much <laughs> thank you children when she said that you know like uh, she did something and p- uh, parents demanded little more or uh, something else i launched it only level 1 now my parents are asking me for level 2 so i have to just now think about how do i structure level 2 what do i put into it and i'm just planning so that is something my success which i really forgot to mention that time yeah yeah and, and uh, one more thing creating uh, tedx for children <laughs> not at planned maybe that is ranjini's idea for me <laughs> yes yeah I, uh, so today while I, i'll i'll share one experience today while i was uh, talking to teenagers 10 15 teenagers together i was sharing stories with them of different students okay. how they have overcome their hurdles so i thought that they don't know how to express their own emotions so i was remembering you oh, okay 
Okay, for thank you, thank you so much. How to teach, like how to use the story to express their themselves. Okay, okay, got it. We will talk, Rini. We will actually talk. I mean, uh, Ranjini had actually told me on in one to one call. One is Rini and one is Vatsala, someone, right? Um, Chanchala. Yes, yes, Chanchala from yeah. Bangalore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. So, and one more thing. Uh, uh, whatever I mentioned, uh, the pattern, which I said, I mean, I, right now I know like most of them have left the session. But still, this is one thing which I really wanted to ask. And I will ask next time also without any hesitation. I felt, I feel a little, little small in asking this. You know, whenever there is something, I don't do it. I don't complete it. I need someone who can just say like, I'm there with you, kind of handhold me. Okay, did you do this? And uh, I mean, if there is someone who can do that, I am... I'm like there for you. <laughs> yeah, so she's basically looking for an accountability partner. Yeah. So for example, we do a retreat design program this week. I, so I can courier, I can courier one scale to you from here. <laughs> <laughs> so she needs a hand, a buddy. So that, that's will... nice, Amy. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Good, point. good point. What I will do from my next you know, sessions, I do workshops i will give you an accountability partner a buddy to yeah. complete that program buddy. i now think that's nobody structure is talking no now nobody is talking i'm waiting let me see <laughs> i'll be there <laughs> thank you rini ek andhe dusre andhe ko rasta dikhayega thank you thank you rini thank you so much <laughs> great so i will bring this structure in place so that it's not you alone doing it you have a partner buddy with you. yeah yeah. So you can, I can be buddy, accountable. Uh, I can buddy up with you, Simi, so that we can be accountable to each other and go yes. back to Ranjini for eating her head. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes. Got it. Yeah, and, and at least tell Ranjini when is my next call and I don't have to hide your oh, Ranjini is messaging. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Anything else, Simi, you want to share if you have forgotten? No, not sharing. That's what that is my ask. Who can help me? Avo? So where where do I have to courier the scale? Rainy? Bhuvaneshwar. Bhuvaneshwar. Bhuvaneshwar, okay. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Okay. I love talking to you and happy to connect. Like this is a space where we can connect. And these huddles, I'm going to I have introduced the huddles from the last week. So I'll be there every day, 8:30. So we can you know you can have you can have more of me and at the same time in the one to ones and whatever other batches we will be running. All right. So yeah. anything else? I think we are done. Uh, most I think Saraswati has left. So that's all. Uh, we are done for today. Any closing remarks? All good. Thank you. So, see, thank all you good. so much. Because of you, your push, your being there on time. Yes, as Simi said, na, the earlier days, like when I joined Ranjini in July, I used to be like, Ranjini's call again. I have to think about something. Now that I, I know that I have something to give her or I can talk, or I can say. I have done a lot of progress in my this one year's journey. My own uh, procrastination has shifted from uh, now. Like I can hear my husband saying, a little bit <laughs> so I have picked up the pace and I have come because the first huddle for me was six months from coming from a job background to an entrepreneur background. Like being accountable for yourself was a very difficult for me. So that I have come out. Now I have started doing my thing. LinkedIn pe logo ko message bejna. That's something I'm doing religiously. Wonderful. Good, good. Loving it, loving the progress, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll meet again next yeah. month. Another for you, there is a verse from Indra Nui who says that when you are blessed by the energy of nature, no, the mentor chooses you. You don't choose the mentor for you, and that is how you have come into my life. So always I remember this verse of hers. Because you are the mm -hmm. one who made the initiative to say, hi, Rini, I'm Sa Ranjini Sanjay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other way around. Yes, yes, yes. 
that's very powerful you are leaving this meeting with amazing you know it really moves me like yeah. i was uh, there's a new client in our system who she has never come to the group she's an astrologer and a life coach and she was telling me this like no uh, her philosophy is like if you are gifted with something no it's the duty that you give it to others and that's the law of universe no that you have to give what you have no got it and that actually brings you guys here you are gifted and you are here to share that's varsha no no that's shivani monga from instagram she is uh, from delhi yet to come okay. to the group a okay. new new a brand new member but okay, she was okay. telling me the last call like this like no this is what we got and it was very yeah, powerful and yeah. just shared no Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for creating Thank this. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your presence. Bye. 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 Bye.